Hey yogis, welcome to my 10 minute flow to super soldier. If you missed my quick picture tutorial of how to get into super soldier or the alignment specifics of it, you can go over to my Instagram or Facebook profile at Kiana underscore Ng and check it out there. So this sequence is going to be flow style, a little bit quicker because I want to pack a lot of stuff in to 10 minutes. So I hope you're ready. You can get started in downward facing dog. So get yourself grounded by walking it out a few times, feeling into the backs of the legs, specifically the hamstrings. And as you feel yourself arrive into the body, arrive into your breath as well. Feeling deep inhales and exhales. And really using them to create more space on your mat today. Find stillness in your downward facing dog. Take one more deep breath here. And from here, take your gaze to your hands. And as you exhale, you can tiptoe step or float your feet to the top, coming into your forward fold. From here, inhale into a halfway lift. Take your peace fingers, hook them around the big toes. Exhale, let the elbows wing out as you fold your chest over top of the legs. Just pause for a breath or two. Still getting into your hamstrings. Releasing the big toes, inhale again, halfway lift. Exhale again, fold forwards over the legs. Inhale, bend into the knees softly as you rise all the way up, sweeping the arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. One round of sun sal A, inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, fold forwards over your legs. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, plant the palms, hop or step back into your plank or chaturanga and move through your flow from here. Again, gaze to hands, exhale, step or hop your feet to the top, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, reach up and rise. Exhale, right away, fold forward. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, hands to mat, hop or step feet back, move into your flow. Pause in your downward dog, one deep breath. All right, inhale, lift your right leg up into the air. Exhale, step your foot forward between your hands. Drop the back knee down. You can release the top of your back foot flat. Hands to the inside of your front foot. Inhale, lengthen your chest forwards. You can stay on your hands or exhale, lower down onto your forearms. Might be on blocks for you today. So as you arrive in your low lizard, do your best to hug your knee in towards your shoulder and keep lengthening your heart forwards. One more breath like this. Then curl the back toes under. Inhale, fire up your back knee. One breath here. Good. Inhale, climb up onto your hands. Exhale, step your right leg back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg. Exhale, step your foot forwards. Back knee drops, hands inside of your front foot. Inhale, lengthen your heart. Exhale, lower down to your forearms if you're able to, maybe blocks. Knee to shoulder, heart long, one breath. Curl the back toes, inhale, lift your back knee up, making sure to really engage your back quad. Inhale, lower the back knee, climb up to your hands. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, step your foot forwards, fingertips to the inside of your front foot. Exhale, walk your hands off the top left hand corner of your mat, coming into your lunging lizard. So hips are still square here. Inhale, walk your hands back in. As you exhale, pivot all the way over to your left. Left knee will bend, side lunge or skandasana. 
and depending on the flexibility in your hips today, your left heel it might lift or it might be grounded. Once you get here, exhale, walk your hands forwards, drop your chest down. Inhale, walk the hands all the way back in. Lift your hips up, wide-legged forward fold. Inhaling to lengthen the chest and exhaling to fold forwards. And this will be a great place to headstand if that's in your practice. Inhale, release to fingertips. If you're in headstand, slowly press the feet down. Pivot, face the top of your mat, toes will point forwards, plant your palms flat. As you exhale, send your right leg up and back behind you, three-legged down dog. Take an inhale. Exhale, walk your hands back to meet your left foot, standing split at the back of your mat. Let yourself really fold over top of the left leg, lift your right leg high. And then from here, bend the right knee, reach up with your left hand, and explore grabbing the right foot. And regardless of if you're able to grab the foot or not, lift your right knee higher, let your hips open a little bit for this one, and fold a little more. Beautiful, inhale, release the foot, hands to mat, keep your right leg lifted as you walk your hands all the way back out to your downward facing dog. And then exhale, step your right foot again between your hands. Hands again to the inside of your front foot. From here, take your right shoulder underneath the right knee as much as you can. So already coming into super soldier, reach your left fingertips out on a diagonal. From here, start to hop your back foot up until you can lift the leg to the sky. So figure out your balance. And then once you're balanced, slowly extend the bottom leg. If you're going further today into the full pose, bend your lifted knee, drop the leg so you can reach up with your right hand, grab your left foot, and then exhale, kick the knee to the sky, and turn your torso away from your grounded leg. Maybe gaze under left shoulder. One more breath. Very nice. Inhale, release the lifted leg. Plant the hands back down as you unbind, stepping back, downward facing dog. Deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Other side, inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, step your foot forwards, fingertips inside of your front foot. Exhale, lunging lizard, hands off the top right. Hips again are square, strong and stable. Inhale, walk your hands in. Exhale, pivot to the right, skandasana, right knee bends. Again, heel can lift if need be. And then walk your hands out once you get there. Inhale, walk your hands in, lift your hips up, wide-legged forward fold. Exhale, fold forwards. Just one deep breath this time. Inhale, fingertips, pivot, face the top of your mat, plant the palms, exhale, three-legged down dog, left leg back behind you, keep the leg up, exhale, standing split, back of your mat, walk your hands to your right foot, find the deep fold first, and then bend your left knee, reach up with your right hand, grab your left foot, and explore opening the hips a little bit, so this is very similar to super soldier, this is a great prep for it as well. Inhale, release your hands down. Walk your hands all the way back out into your three-legged down dog. And exhale, step your left foot forwards between the hands. Hands inside of the foot. Coming into super soldier, take your left shoulder underneath your left knee. Slide your right hand forwards on a diagonal. Start to hop the back foot up until you can lift it up. Left knee will stay bent until you find your balance. And then start to straighten the left leg. Bend the right knee if you're going for it. Left hand reaches up. Maybe grab the right foot. Exhale, kick the knee to the sky. Roll your chest to the right. Couple breaths. 
Find a little bit more space where you can. Awesome job. Release the lifted foot. Unbind. Hands to mat. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Very nice work. Drop to your knees. Take a wide-legged child's pose. Let your heart melt down. Just settle here for a couple breaths. Slowing down your pace, your tempo. And letting your body soften. One more breath. Okay, and then from here, rise all the way up, rolling your chest up, and then swing your legs around in front of you, come into a seated position. All right, any comfortable seated position will work here. You might even sit on a block if you have tight hips. Now once you find your place, palms can rest on top of the knees, maybe palms to face up, maybe thumb and index finger together. And just using this space right now to continue to slow down. So that practice was very fast paced and it built very quickly. So just take a few moments at the end of your practice to slow it back down again before going about the rest of your day. You can always stay in this position for as long as you like. Otherwise, if you're ready, take your palms together at your heart. One more deep breath here. And I thank you so much for joining me today. Namaste.